Once again, Arizona ranks at the bottom in a new study on teacher pay. And on this May Day, teachers in other parts of the country wore red and marched for more school funding. Team 12's Joe Dana is live for us with reaction from a Valley teacher that we've been following since she marched to the Capitol a year ago. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mark, a few people showed up here at this Red for Red protest. It doesn't quite have the same fuel it did last year. Here's what one teacher had to say who we began following one year ago. So excited heading down to the Capitol right now. That was high school teacher Katie yeah, Fitz right. protesting at the Capitol one year ago. We got all of our water bottles. It's going to be a hot one out there. The teacher's revolt credited with forcing Governor Doug Ducey to come up with his 20 by 2020 plan. You can hear the honking in the background. A lot of support out there for teachers today. Now, one year later, and it was a good start. The mother of three tells us she's grateful for the raise she got, but our classes are still very full. Um, the per pupil counselor ratio is still astronomical. Governor Ducey has proposed a new plan to bring nearly 200 new counselors into schools, but low teacher salaries and inadequate classroom spending continue to loom large in the state. A new report from the Economic Policy Institute shows Arizona is worst in the nation for what's known as the teacher wage penalty, a formula that compares how teachers are paid with other college-educated workers. We all recognize that we have a teacher shortage. The chair of the House Education Committee, Michelle Udall, is a teacher herself. She's asking voters for patience. I think anytime you try and do too big of a cash influx all at once, there's a lot of um, opportunity for waste and, and inappropriate spending. But I think we need to continue on the tra trajectory we're on. Where we're Just as Katie did last year, she's pleading with lawmakers on both sides to compromise and find new money now. They need to come together and support a sustainable revenue that supports Arizona. The more money we invest in our students now, the more successful Arizona will be in the future. That's how. Representative Udall did sponsor a bill that would have given voters the chance to raise the sales tax for schools, but that bill has gone nowhere. In Phoenix, Joe Dana, 12 News. All right, Joe, thanks.